making really good consistent runs. Mm -hmm. Where we also see Promelia, who is all over the place. I mean, TGS, Anvil, going to Cave consistently. Fantastics on Wednesday, Sometimes. every Wednesday night. Like, And so he is also performing at a pretty consistent level and taking so many wins under his belt. But uh, also, I mean, Especially different versions of grinding, but both equally important. Mm -hmm. Because um, I do know that like Corrin is a character that isn't very repped yet. Um, has a couple player good, a couple really good players. But like watching Promelia evolve his Corrin is yeah. exciting. And right now we're getting into game one on Smashville um, with yeah. the Corrin CSS matchup, <laughs> which is pretty, which is pretty classic of like these two like types of players too, where it's like we're kind of getting in on Smashville. We're not gonna have too much like super stage specific things. We're really just trying to throw hands here. Mm -hmm. And like that's honestly what we've been seeing so far. I mean, like uh, percent relatively even, but Ramsey's starting to provide some play. Oh my gosh, so much pressure with these up airs right now. Getting the platform assist with those up airs and um, also leading it off with the bear rather than trying to go for the up, yeah. up B kill. I like uh, how Promelia's retaliating right now with the stage positioning. Though. He's starting a juggle sequence. Did you see that back air to push himself forward into that down tilt to cover that? Yeah, the way he propelled himself with the back air. It was really cute. His movement in and out of back air and like just the way he's like able to just like, I don't know, just travel as that character and be so mobile and like, I don't know. Mobile with the fact that they nerfed their movement speed. Right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and getting hit by the Paralyzer, Ooh. that's not going to connect, but it was a great attempt by Remzi. You know the fear is there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right now, right. oh my gosh, and that's he, killing. He, he just does it, man. He, he hit the single first hit, and then he just was able to reach that height he knew. And I think Promelia might have been caught off guard. Normally, you're used to seeing them reset. Mm -hmm. Almost was really cute, but still a cool footstool regardless. All right, he's going to get hit by this a second time now. He tried to go down and do a tomahawk, but instead Ramsey let out his move. Um, instead, if Permelia let, uh, did a down air or something, it would have been fine. Yeah. Ooh, that was almost really, really good. Permelia is lucky he reversed that situation because honestly, uh, he was getting kind of punished for using that like really like high bite in the air. So, but he was he was good to get like he's really good at using his aerials to escape combos and instantly turn a situation in his favor. Definitely getting that uh, really good percent from that grab. CSS is getting scarily close to death. Especially, yep, we're looking at that side B uh, possibly killing because it, we are really possibly. close to that side platform. <laughs> and wow, it's amazing. It's, as, <laughs> it's as if every time we say something, it actually happens. Yep. Crits right. gets top eight next tournament. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you got the reads. Nice uh, trumpet right there. All right, nice. He floats high over that paralyzer the second time. I like that option considering he got less of a punish than what would have happened if he got hit with the paralyzer. Definitely. And you were talking about that back air pressure earlier. You're already seeing it coming out as soon as Ramsey steps on that platform. Mm -hmm. Such a quick and versatile option. Like He landed with an aerial, so he got caught with Paralyzer. If he just landed down and shielded, he wouldn't have gotten hit. But, man, that up B. <laughs> you stuck there for, like, half a second, man. Like, Zero Suit Samus is going to take that. <laughs> Watch you still slowly get kicked. She's not going to walk up, but she's definitely going to scoot her way in and just... Yeah. She doesn't strut like Bale, but she has the heels. Nah, she's quick. She's always on a hurry, man. Always, always <laughs> on the move. She's a DC resident. Yeah, dude, she's flip kicking everywhere, dude. Yeah, no, she's like, that's the the flip kick should be the Metro, dude. Like she just <laughs> she's metro? zooming in and out of districts. Get like, it? Metroid, Metro. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's sitting at home like eating cereal, and they're going like, "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> Did they pour the milk first? Or do they pour the cereal first? If you're pouring your milk first, I'm judging you. Definitely. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't understand the appeal of having, like, a soggy underlayer. Like, who are you? You know what I mean? But. I pour my cereal first. That's also because half the time I don't eat milk. All right, so if you had to choose a breakfast cereal, describe your personality. What Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles? All right. <laughs> they come I wanna, so much. I want to be Reese's Puffs so bad because Reese's Puffs are, like, cool. But I don't really know. Zephyr, if you had to describe yourself as a breakfast cereal, what would you choose? This is important. Yeah. Reese's, Reese's Puffs? Puffs? See, everyone wants to be Reese's Puffs, so that's but such uh, a good option. I'm Fruity Pebbles, because... Ooh, we're seeing the Palutena. Hey, let's go. We were so focused on the cereal. Look, man, we're, we're asking the right questions. <laughs> but, man. Yo, but isn't Fruity Pebbles, like, perfect for me? Because I'm fruity. It's, yeah, I, I was digging it, man. Fruity pebbles are also super slept on, so. They're good. Okay, so. Also good, that forward air. Mm. Straight up. Like, that is 
like, ooh, it, it it pokes a like ZSS or just like break zones really easily. That was really smart of Camellia. Um, just jabbed, knew Rumsey was gonna try to go for a grab, dash off the platform, and then punish him for it. All right. And right now we're watching some n nice speedy movement. Definitely, I like how his use of Zare to just like start that whole whole burst with like the four days. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Rumsey does need to keep in mind is that. Palutena's uh, back air and dash attack are invincible. Um, so he's got to watch out for those. Yeah. All right, nice. Uh, another paralyzer attempt. Ooh. Cromelia is missing all of his teleport missiles. Yeah. Not always a good feeling whenever you are pulling out like a secondary to be missing like some like kind of specific tech like that. But oh my goodness, nice coverage with the back air there. All right, nice trump attempt to you. Mm. Yeah, and you're gonna you're gonna eat that damage, and he confirms it the second time he gets it. That just uh, speaks to the volumes of the the type of player that Ramsey is. Like, all right, everything, everything's best five. All right, all right. So Every right now on game two, uh, Camellia is pretty far behind, honestly, because ZSS's damage output is so high. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, just like the Remzi, just like his capitalization, like on some of these punishes. I mean, taking even in that situation, like just getting so much damage off of these quick, like hit and run type situations. Sneaks in, gets a grab, already gets Platform three assist. up airs and a con kill confirm off of it. But just look at how quickly he got that opening. Mm -hmm. You get one grab and battlefield, yeah. especially if you're at the perfect percent to with how floaty Palutena is. It's not hard, especially if she pops out of that up B. She yeah. doesn't even need to get hit with full finish. Pops out, flies upwards, done. Yeah. I just I just can imagine as uh, with how quick Remzi's like ZS says like I was just seeing the Palutena and if that's not like super crisp, like it may just be really hard to just like force force yeah. that ZSS speed and like hitboxes out. And probably like, was going straight back to corn. Alright. Let's see. I'm curious what Promelia banned to get himself to Battlefield versus a ZSS. Yeah, it's definitely not a preferential. Um, but I don't know, man. I've also seen Palutena do like some good things too. But like, yeah, I just I don't know. I've seen I've seen Nairo like steal so many hearts. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably ban Town and City, honestly. All right. Already nice uh, usage of the uh, Zare again. Was already proving to be pretty difficult in that first game. Utilizing your Zare, if you have one, as seriously normal Samus, Toon Link, Link, Lucas, um, it's very important because there's so many follow-ups you can get safely if you space out with your Zare. All right. I'm liking this Promelia. Uh, now finally starting to like kind of set the pace a little more. It seems like Remzi was just kind of controlling when he wanted to go in and out, and that just kind of determined like the flow and stuff. But oh, right. really good setup there from Remzi. Interesting, yeah. not going for the down throw, but instead going for a forward throw for a tech chase. Oh my gosh, great use of that uh, that beautiful up tilt ZSS. Oh, and he that gets that B reverse chomp. So good! Yeah, custom uh, counter taunts, taunts too, by the way. That's how you know Promelia's crisp. Like, okay. Yep, just getting that damage and then like getting rewarded with uh, stage positioning. Side B proving such a useful move. All right. And this is a great situation for Promelia right now, if he can avoid from getting that stock taken. It did, you saw that um, dragon shot he did, the like really small one above it. That covered so many options and made it so that like, yeah. if he jumped, like CS just usually wants to, it was really smart. Ah, uh, right. there we go. Good down smash, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I do agree with that down smash. I feel like if you would have like tracked it, you could have reacted with like a forward smash either way. But the down smash like just made it so where he didn't have to worry mm -hmm. like about just he missing. He just covered all of it. Just wanted that percent rather than trying to go for some sort of strength. That back air right. is going to take it, though. All right. Still uh, still only one's game for sure. Go, he goes ahead and gets a jump from ledge into a, a down air, which I actually really like that creative option. It's funny, uh, ZSS, like, I feel like we just don't have enough representation of this character, period, uh, for as good of, like, a character as she is. And so, like, we don't get to see, like, sometimes, like, just tricky things like that. Uh, I mean, there is Nairo. So that's a lot of representation from one player. And yeah. then you have a couple people that have their breakout performances. Like, Remzi's really good. And then you have, like, Latai, who beat Zero at mm -hmm. Civil War, was it? Yeah. Um, 
But otherwise, you don't really see many. Ah, that's going to be the game. Good game. Remzi 3-0'd from Elliot. Uh, but he did a lot better on game three. Definitely. 